In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply some of the home range density estimators within the Zoatrack toolkit to your biotelemetry data. Now on the screen, you can see this is some tracks from some GPS data for cassowaries in uh, Moresby Range National Park. Now you can see that there's three sets of detection data here, one in the purple, one in the pink, and one in the green. And what I wish to do is just look at how the home ranges of these animals overlap. So click the Analysis tab here, which will open up the Analysis Toolkit within Zootrack. And we can see we offer a number of different tools, but we're going to apply the minimum convex polygon at the 100% level. So the MCP, what the MCP does is it uh, applies a polygon around all the points at the 100% level. Okay, and once that's calculated, we can see that the area calculations are here at the 100% level. And we can open that up and look at it for for different animals, okay? And we can see the estimated sizes. And we can also see the degree of overlap between the MCPs. Now, you could also change the percentage here if you want to look at more core habitat areas. But we'll let you do that in your own time. So what I want to go on to now is looking at kernel utilization distributions. So uh, the fixed kernel density estimator is a non-parametric method of home range analysis, which uh, estimates that the probability that an animal can be found at a specific geographical location based on the number of detection there. So its difference differs from the MCP because it, it weights uh, the home range depending on the number of locations. So Oztrack offers a number of uh, references here and a little bit of more detail if you want to have some further reading. Um, but let's apply the ad hoc method. A little moment to calculate, and there it is. So we can now see the kernel distributions overlaid with the NCPs. Let's just turn the MCPs off. And we're left with the kernel distributions for those three animals. And we can see how well they overwrap. Now, at the 95%, another, uh, not at the 95% level, it really incorporates most of the detections. But often in animal tracking studies, you want to know area of occupancy and core habitat areas. So frequently in the literature, you'll see the 95% overlaid with a 50%. And look how quickly in Zootrack you can make those calculations. And now we can see the core areas sitting within those 95% areas. And you can scroll down here on the left and actually get some of those area calculations and the H values. Okay, and um, in the next tutorial, we'll go over some of the more uh, less frequently used and more complex home range density estimators.